Seven and in its sixth season, the Honda Scholar Athlete Award is brought to you by American Honda. This week's award goes to Trev Alberts, the senior linebacker from the University of Nebraska. He holds a 331 GPA in speech communications. He's from Cedar Falls, Iowa. Honda presents a check for three thousand dollars to the general scholarship fund of the University of Nebraska. Alberts is very appreciative, but he would prefer to be healthy right now and playing in this bone show. First and ten. Oklahoma with the lead. Gundy, only one of five throwing. This is the toss back to the running back, Moore. And Dumas brings him down at the 19-yard line. So the other freshman running back, Gerald Moore, into the Sooners lineup and gets his first carry of the game. Dante over the other side. Dante Jones over in the Trev Albert spot. Second and 11. Gundy on the roll. below zero wind chill right now. The wind bites. Wind is whipping across the plain out of the northwest, howling in here to Memorial Stadium. Yet some of the most loyal football fans in the world have jammed this stadium again. Now Gundy backing up, throwing. 
burst of speed getting up there. He's shorter and a little heavier than Allen, but you can see he's very strong. Now they do a good job of stripping it. Baron Miles took it out of there. Moss and Williams knocked the ball free in the game. Dundee off a play fake. Throws incomplete. Warren, the intended receiver. disappointed out of your uh, maybe your biggest game of your career how do you feel i was certainly disappointed you know my senior year and one of the biggest games of my life but part of football you know you can't avoid it and i'm just glad it wasn't a knee or something like that it's just, a, just an elbow and i'll be back in about four weeks so stay with us we have another question in second place. first and 15 and four get back six of it okay dean Trent, what does nebraska need to do defensively oklahoma has run the ball very effectively Oh, they just need to, we've got, got too many mental mistakes. I heard at halftime that we're just making some mental mistakes, just play harder. I mean, I'm not too worried about it. This team will find a way to win. We've done it all year, and uh, we'll do it again today. Fabulous career. Congratulations. Sorry about the injury. That's okay. Thanks a lot. Back up top. So there's Trev Alberts, unanimous choice, the defensive player of the year of the Big 8. Unable to play, and hopefully he'll be ready. New Year's night down in the Orange Bowl. Brent, Oklahoma's come out with an unbalanced line. Set. And now they're, and they're running back to the short side of the formation. 
situation right here with the option. Good defense. They're trying to get Nebraska to move to the strong side and run to the weak side. Into the middle incomplete, and now it is going to be time uh, for field goal specialist Scott Blanton. And with a penalty flag, however, coming down on the play. So let's hold on a moment. They tried a middle screen, Brent. He threw it awfully hard right into the crowd. I didn't see any receiver really make a great attempt to try to catch it. Program $1,000 donated to the General Scholarship Fund of both schools. Could be a field goal kicker on this day. Hooking to the left, no oh good. Oklahoma had a first and 10 at the 18-yard line on this drive, and they come away with no points. They'll catch Johnson at the 24-yard line. Lincoln, Nebraska. That'll keep you warm. He went down the line. James Allen is his tailback in this series. It'll be the cross to Allen. Cuts back to the right side. Picks up a block and it's illegal. A penalty flag comes down on the illegal block. Tonight, we're going to get an opportunity to show you what I consider one of the finest punt blocks in the history of college football. This is a moment if they can seal them up where they may come after them again. They've had penetration. at the line and the fullback for three yards this is third and 17 now gundy is going to pull out gundy down goes long has an open receiver incomplete now i want to take you back to that night against oklahoma state this was the moment that turned around the key game for the cornhuskers i want you to watch this block punt the Sooners on this fourth down of a defensive struggle. Six minutes to go now, and the Cornhuskers have had penetration earlier today. Brent, in all my years, I never saw a block punt like that. Where you want to go unbelievable. They bobble to the four. He kicks it. Wonderful reaction by the punter. What a play by Scott Blanton. He had picked up the ball. How many punters have you seen panic in that situation? And he did not. He simply pulled the trigger. You see guys in the NFL not come up with that play. Tremendous. That could be a game saver right there. Tremendous, tremendous poise. Oh, the ball's on the turf. The ball's on the turf. He picks it up off the turf. He uses a soccer style move. Now watch the snap. See, he drops the snap right there. It's on the turf. He, now watch him sidewind the kick this in. What? A good job by an athlete under pressure. And Chris Gardaki did do one right in the NFL for the Bears yesterday. Job of gaining field position through net punt. Let's see what they do here. Maybe a little too far. It's all right. It's going to be too far. Fair catch at the 15-yard line. There he is, Johnson, not letting that ball bounce down inside the 10-yard line and down. Inside linebacker, senior from Grand Island, Nebraska. 
to eight December with a three permanent adjustments. When they switch the defense to the four three this year, Anderson lines up as a middle linebacker. Two years ago in that three four, he had a huge day here against Oklahoma in Nebraska's comeback victory. Now here is Anderson leading the way, the senior middle linebacker. And on third down, to the 10 and a stop that time by Kevin Raymaker. See that time what Charlie McBride did with his defensive call is he lined him up right in there as if he's going to blitz, then he didn't blitz. They stunted it around there. Keeping you off balance with defensive signals. Well, Nebraska unbeaten and untied, and there is another one in college football. West Virginia with a big game against Boston College. Another bad snap. And again, Blanton with great hands punts to Dixon. And Dixon is sworn at the 38. It's been a long time since I've seen a better pair of hands on a punter than Scott Blanton. Fortunately, artificial turf. Plus, he's a shortstop on the baseball team. Oh, so <laughs> hey, that explains it right there. He is. He only batted 250, but he's a good glove man. <laughs> Look at this. Right up. One up. Just like his baseball coach would teach him to do. But poise under pressure, this young man has it. Twice in a row, he saves Oklahoma. Now it's Nebraska. Can they do anything with this field? The defensive line coach. Third and nine. Frazier looking for an open receiver. Got one at the two. Touchdown, Nebraska. Kareem Moss kneeling down to help him out and we get word that Freeman has been lost defensively for the Sooners because of his injury. Thank you. 
are coming on, and they have no time to set up. Harris will come from the top of your screen, number 86. See, he flashes in there. The linebackers are coming up. The, see him coming around the outside. Here he has good speed. He's turned back inside there by Raymakers, number 67. And Harris makes the play. That's the third big play that Harris has been involved in. There he is right there. Peter, number 55, leading the defensive charge, and Dean Blevins, it has to be a little gloomy right now on that Sooner sideline. Boy, it is an ejected sideline because Oklahoma feels they play, outplayed Nebraska for a good portion of the game. The Huskers hung in there. Oklahoma now doing what it did not want to do, and that's be in a must-pass situation where, they, where Nebraska can come from the outside. It's the cola can't even talk, guys. Oh, we'll feel for you down there. Some huh? guys just aren't very tough. Where the, hey, where, where's old Ruth? <laughs> Our route took the day off. He looked at the weather forecast and said, I'm home for the holidays. <laughs> That's it. What a, what a guy. And this time, the defense equal to the challenge again. And they just stand up, Mr. Campbell. Nothing doing. And a penalty flag comes down for that celebration, eh? Wouldn't you think? It's down there for some reason. <laughs> I mean, the game's not over, guys. They're turning somersaults. so frustrated I might have stumbled into some guy turning a somersault myself I kind of doubt it Oklahoma going totally away from their personality for the year they are setting a record on the fewest number of giveaways as an offensive team in the history of Oklahoma football only had given the ball away 12 times Brent. Well, Blanton standing near the end line. Let's see what kind of a snap he gets from center this time. You should rush him. You know, he's had the bad snap. You should rush him. Good snap going. that time and gets off a one hopper. And Dixon backing away. And it'll be Nebraska ball and scoring territory again at the 11 minute mark. See what you're doing around us. They rush him. Gets it off. Good job by Bennett. The I don't player. want to see 22 down there. We're going to give him the award right away. That is why they lead the, the country or lead the conference here in that part. They haven't given the big run other than one, the big 
ten. Dundee incomplete. That's an interference at the ten yard line. It looked like to me that the bear and uh, <laughs> Devaney how the balls used to get decided. I mean, the bear, he was a force, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Keith Jackson down there in Florida, he knows what I'm talking about right now. Here comes Gundy. Throwing it. Incomplete out of bounds here. And, uh, Gundy high. Hit. So we want to thank our crew, especially our production manager Rob Weiss. Thanks to one and all, those folks are away from their family.